It is a fact that in South Africa, especially in rural villages, at least 80% of the schools are dilapidated. And Keeping Kunzi Primary School was not different. It's important that the school is decent. And I want to believe that if you feel good, you perform better. That is why I like to improve their learning experience so that learners look forward to going to school. It is not only about building the facilities, but also they get to see someone like them, a black lady. They see themselves truly reflected. When they hear my story that I also grew up from Seleni, it's a deep rural village, and then they believe it can be done. Just two years ago, we made history when I became the first female from Africa to run seven marathons on seven continents in seven days, which we raised 1.7 million, which we used to build five new classrooms. But it was not enough. More needed to be done. 600 learners were using just few facilities and they were not private and they were not safe. And also looking at the principal, sharing one old classroom with 21 staff members as their administration office, there was clearly a need. So that's where the thought about building new toilets, facilities and administration block came about. In 2021, October, I ran a race that is billed as the toughest foot race on earth, which is Marathon Disabled, which entails running 250 kilometers in the Sahara Desert, carrying all your food, your sleeping material, your clothes for the six days. It was extremely hot, 56 degrees. We had about 700 runners who started the race. Only about 350 were able to finish the race. The conditions were tough. Giving up for me was just not an option because I knew about 600 learners are looking up to me. I like choosing races like MDS because they truly epitomize the hardship that most learners from rural villages are faced with. They have to keep going, dig deep. They have to have their why and keep on reminding themselves about the why they're doing this. Through general sponsors, we were able to raise 1.2 million, which was used to build the administration block and toilet facilities. Now the principal will have her own private office and the staff members will be able to share an open plan and they will have a kitchen. And now learners, especially the girls, will now have a private facility that are safe. We've had a number of stories where fatalities come from simply using unsafe ablution facilities. What she's doing for this area, it's amazing. Now you see it is a school like any other school. We thank Nondu and our donors. We are so grateful. Girls, Chabuli Saga Kulu, a mass bona, a singer bazaar, in Jay, Ubam Zali, Ufundi singer, Nakola school in Sbonama toilet, a candy, plus my toilet, Amadombazana. Having new ablution facilities will ensure our safety and it can be a better school for our community. I want to thank Sis Nonsu for what she did for our school. As a teachers and learners, we are proud of her. For the community of Dugu Dugu village, I honestly want to believe that this is a sustainable development because investing in an infrastructure like a school, many more generations get to benefit. I just really want to thank the engines behind this, which are donors, whom through their business, they do change lives and communities. So I'm truly humbled that I get to really do what I love, which is running while I change lives.